as Boston Marathon made a comeback to its springtime spot for the first time since the pandemic. Double amputee runner Brian Reynolds made his debut in this prestigious race. This is my first Boston Marathon. Having grown up in the area, I've run the course a bunch of times and I've spectated, but my first time getting to line up on race day. As a W amputee, Brian faces tons of challenges more than an average person, such as getting prosthetics made and dealing with any crop up issues. I have lots of overuse injuries from running, especially with my hips, and then lots of skin breakdown from the chafing of the legs. But I would say that every runner has obstacles, and, and we all have different obstacles to overcome. So these are just the challenges that I figure out as I go. Passing the finish line, Brian completed the race with a record of 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 21 seconds. Grew up in Dedham near the Boston area. Making it to this marathon means very different to Brian. I have lots and lots of family and friends that are going to be out on the course at different points, so I think it's going to be pretty awesome having the hometown support. Besides Brian, there are more amputee runners running this year's marathon, including bombing survivor Adrian Haslett. The presence of these runners inspired the crowd watching the marathon. This is like um, really heroic what, what they have achieved and that, um, yeah, that they made it to here and um, I guess, no, I have a lot of respect for them and they are really, really a role model for us all when it comes to, you know, pushing forward something you want to really, really want to do. With all the runners coming from different walks of life, finishing a huge accomplishment by a beautiful ending for the 2022 Boston Marathon. Reporting from Copley Square at the finish line for Bureau News Service and Vivi Chen.